Oh, here she, here she here is. So let's have a listen. Traditional de Mississauga, Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee. I also want to recognize we are on the traditional lands of the Mississauga of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, and the Haudenosaunee. Uh, first, let me start by congratulating. We're still waiting for the results, but it looks like uh, we are going to be sending uh, certainly two and looks like probably three Greens back to Ottawa uh, in the next uh, session of Parliament. Congratulate uh, sincerely, Elizabeth May. And I will do it right now. I, I know that we are still waiting for a few results, but I want to congratulate Mike Morris from Kitchener Center. Incredibly well deserved, incredible, an incredible uh, leader that's headed to Ottawa. And also, Paul is in a very close race, but I feel very confident that he's going to take that one over the finish line. So I'm going to w send him the good luck of, I hope it's good luck, to wish him good luck now in that seat as well. I sincerely want to thank all our candidates across the nation. They did an incredible job in such a short time. And I think I know it takes a lot of passion and lots of sacrifice, lots of devotion and dedication to show up and be a candidate, and lots of courage and strength. And I thank them sincerely for their effort for having decided to make a jump in this election and sincerely on my behalf and on behalf of our party and all our members. I want to sincerely thank every single candidate who ran for the Green Party in this election. It takes passion, it takes dedication, it takes sacrifice, it takes courage. Uh, and so many of them uh, were running for the first time. We told them that it was time to run. We told them that we needed a new culture in Ottawa. We needed more diversity in Ottawa. And so many of them uh, took up that challenge. I am so proud of them. I want to thank them sincerely on my behalf and on behalf of all of our members and all of our volunteers. Let's give them a round of applause. And I say that particularly so because this was a pandemic election. This was the fourth wave. Uh, this was a very difficult time uh, to be running in the first place, very difficult circumstances. And so it means even more that they stepped forward. It means even more that they chose to live their values uh, by standing up for us uh, and running for us in this election. I'm so grateful to them. I also want to thank all of our members and all of our volunteers. Um, we have so many here tonight, so many people again who put their lives on hold, who told their kids to go watch another video while they made phone calls, uh, while they went canvassing. Uh, people who again were very passionate about the idea of sending more Greens uh, to uh, the next parliament. Uh, it takes so much and absolutely we are driven by our volunteers and their work. And so thank you so much to all of our volunteers all across the country. Please know that uh, however, uh, whatever size our contingent of Greens in Ottawa, it's because of you and the work that you did and I thank you sincerely. We're a small party in a system that is created for large parties, created for traditional parties. So we're always very thankful for our volunteers for their efforts and their sacrifices and dedication because it's through them that small parties like ours was able to achieve all of this. And we have three MPs that will be in the next session of Parliament, and I want to thank them.
And I want to, uh, I just spoke with Marcy Ian before coming down here. I wanted to sincerely congratulate her. Uh, I um, hope that, uh, and um, I'm sure that the people of Toronto Centre will make sure that, uh, that she provides them with good representation. Congratulated her on her race here in Toronto Centre. Clearly I am, um, well not clearly, but I will tell you that certainly I am disappointed. Uh, it is hard to lose, no one likes to lose, uh, but I'm so proud of the effort, um, the creativity, the innovation that our team brought to this race. Um, we promised to offer rail representation, we promised to offer a real choice to the people of Toronto Centre who have so much need, so, many, so much work that needs to get done, and you did that and I thank you for that. Uh, I have some of my family here and some of my family in the audience uh, and I want to thank them as well. Um, this is something where we're all in this together, you know. They lived every second and breathed every second with me. And, uh, I, you know, I've said this many times, I mean, I've been campaigning in one way or another for the Green Party for the last almost two and a half years now. And so uh, this has been a very long journey for our entire family. And of course, you know, I love you, Mark. Uh, Malachi, my son Jonas, who's not here, my mother-in-law, my nephew, my sister-in-law, all of my family that is here. Et en plus, la and on top of this, the family that we've created during this election and during the last uh, few years. There are so many members of my family that, you know, they're, they're not necessarily family by birth, but they're certainly family because of what we've been through together. They're the most special people in the world. Uh, they are everything that is good about our country, everything that is good about our party. And I love you and I will be grateful to you forever. Alors, um, notre, bon, je crois que so I believe on, on that, que, uh, la de, that the uh, decision de Canada, of the population of Canada is to send back députés, the same uh, MPs in the same proportion uh, for the same session uh, of Parliament. What we seem to be seeing tonight is that the people of Canada have decided to send essentially the same MPs back in the same proportions uh, to Parliament. Uh, they're sending back another minority government uh, in basically the same numbers that we have seen before, and so we are now back uh, to the status quo. Uh, I would say that we are back to the status quo, except that we are returning, unfortunately, more divided and more polarized than before this election was called. Uh, that is certainly part of the legacy of this election that I will say uh, we shouldn't have had, whether that sounds self-interested or not. Um, malheureusement, il y a des divisions qui ont Sadly, été créées par uh, la, la convocation de cette élection. The calling of this il y aura du travail and there will be a lot of work to do to repair divisions. these divisions. Uh, we need to repair these divisions. We need to ensure that whatever wounds were created during this election <coughs> are not permanent, because the people of Canada clearly are saying we want you to work together. We want you to collaborate. You have got to find a way to do that. And you've got to find a way to deliver us the help we need for the rest of this pandemic. Nepal, the leader of the Green Party, a devastating loss tonight.